Hello guys, this is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews, and we are here in our new facility. You may be asking, you've done videos in the new facility before. Why does it look so different? It's because we're upgrading, we are growing. This will look completely different in the future, but the video that we're doing today is on every single Titan rack that Titan Fitness makes. Not just the Titan series, but also the T2, the T3, and the X3. We're gonna compare all of them. I'm gonna talk about how they compare to one another. I'm also gonna talk about how they compare to others that are out there in the market, including my opinions after using these ones, using other ones, and give you my recommendation. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so we're gonna start with the base model. Now, to be clear, these are all new models. I've used all of these in different instances. I think the newest one that came out is the big bad boy, the Titan series, but that came out and we reviewed it, I wanna say two, three years now. So all of these have been out. This is the difference. These have all been improved over time in ways that I think the general public probably doesn't realize. And so we're gonna talk through some of that. But the first one is the T2. And the T2 is their base model. You can tell both by the way it looks, but also by the way it's designed. This is not the only rack in this style that's out there. There are many that copy this or that this one copies. Rep has one, the PR1000 and the PR1100. We've also dropped 800 pounds on one that is very similar to this. This is kind of just like your very entry level rack. Titan's constantly offering discounts, but just at a retail price, it's 400 bucks shipped to your door. And you get quite a bit for that. Number one is it's 12 gauge steel. Every other rack that's back there is 11 gauge steel. 12 gauge is a little bit thinner. So the higher the number, the thinner the steel. So it's not gonna be able to take as much weight as those others. But just so you're aware, this is rated for, I think, 850 pounds or around there. We've tested it with much more weight than this style of rack. It's basically gonna be able to hold whatever weight you wanna hold. And I've seen like powerlifters, this guy named Dennis Cornelius that uses a similar rack. He's like a thousand pound squatter in his garage. So you're not really gonna have to face any issues with the weight capacity on any of these racks. But as you can tell, this rack is made oftentimes for a basement or made to be as cheap as possible. So the height is that way. This is 83 inches. They also offer a 71 inch rack. It comes with a standard 1.25 inch pull-up bar. It is grit powder coat, and it's the same powder coat on this one as it is the others. This one does only come in black. Rep, for instance, theirs comes in different colors. So they also offer an option with a multi-grip bar. But one of the nice things about these that companies have started to realize is like people want an entry level rack, but they want to upgrade it over time. So let's give them additional accessories, which I love. And one of the accessories that comes with this that you can buy extra is what these holes are made for. And it's a lat pull down. So you can have a center mount lat pull down, similar to what we see with higher end racks, like a Rep PR 5000 or 4000 that allows you to have a center mount lat pull down on a $400 rack. That's a pretty sweet deal. Now you're not gonna have the same amount of level of customization that you're gonna have with the other racks. And you know, you're using these one inch holes. There's quite a bit of distance between them. They don't go all the way up and down. They're not on the sides of the rack. There's no number holes. You're gonna have to lift your legs when you do pull ups. There's obviously some things that you're having to give up, but for the cost, if you're like a budget entry level, this rack or a rep PR 1100, you can get any really number of those and they're all gonna satisfy like that you can train heavy and you can train safe. This one though, I will say, the first time I used it, the powder coat on it was so much worse. They've upgraded the powder coat on all of these racks and it's really like a higher end, lower level rack for a good price. All right. Let's talk about the next one. Now this is their upgrade from the T2, and it makes sense that the name is the T3. This rack is really what they made their name on. It was very much a copy of the Rogue R3. The Rogue R3 had been out for a long time. It was the most popular garage gym rack. And then this came on the scene, an imported version of it that was cheaper, and it wasn't nearly as good as the R3. We did a comparison between the R3 and the T3. They were completely different worlds in terms of welds, powder coat, everything like that. That was like six years ago. This rack, they've basically brought it up to standard of all their other racks, of all their other equipment. They're doing it in better factories. Rather than punching holes, they're laser cutting the holes. Or rather than using jigs for welders, they're using robot welders. They're offering in different depths and different heights. 
It still has the west side, you know, 5 8 inch holes with the west side hole spacing all throughout, so they're close together, and they have a numerous amount of accessories for them. Th this is kind of what racks have come to, and I was talking about this earlier, is racks are kind of a utility at this point. There isn't that much difference between this rack and let's say the Rogue R3 that Rogue offers. Rogue's has welded panels, but sometimes that's not the greatest thing when you're using it in a garage and you're trying to level it out. So at some point you're like, man, I just want whatever's the best value. And for this style of rack, which not a lot of companies are making anymore, Rogue and Titan is, and there may be a couple other companies that are out there that are using a similar tube steel, but this is a two by three rack with 11 gauge steel that was the original. And this is 600 bucks for like a pretty beefy rack. Like you're gonna be able to use whatever weight on this that you want. They rate it for, I wanna say 1,100 pounds, 1,000 pounds. J-Cups are gonna hold up. They redesigned their J-Cup design, so it's got extra strength underneath it. They also offer other accessories like a roller J-Cup for a two by three rack that we don't see offered a lot for this style of rack anymore. In my opinion, would I recommend this one? Probably not, and here's why. Let's talk about the next one. So out of all of these racks here, for most people, the rack that I would recommend is gonna be the X3. The X3 is very similar to the T3 in that it's using the same 11 gauge steel, but the difference between the T3 and the X3 is the fact that they're using three by three steel here. Pretty much the entire makeup is the exact same. They offer more options for it in terms of like widths and things like that. It does have a 48 inch outside post, outside post width, which is better in my opinion than the 49 inch that Rogue offers. And then there's companies like Sornex and Rep that are offering 47 inches. It just prevents the bar from catching on the rack when you're unracking it, not a huge deal. But the reason that this is nicer is because you're using a square post. So you can use accessories on any side of it and it's gonna fit. And this is kind of the standard that companies make accessories for. The only caveat to that is like cross members that would go between them, but for single post attachments, you can use it from just about any company. Meaning you could buy this rack, which is cheaper than most of the other racks that are out there of this style, including the Rogue Monster Light Rack, which is a different rack because it's made in the USA, it's offering colors and it's got laser cut numbers. Or you could also use the Rep PR4000 accessories, which is imported. It does offer a little bit other options with colors. So that's why I would choose this one over the T3. The price point is a little bit more, it's a hundred bucks more. They do rate this one for higher weight rating. Again, we're at a point where it doesn't matter for most people. They do offer just a standard J-cup that comes with it, but you can get other J-cups like the roller J-cups, sandwich J-cups, or use other companies' J-cups. You can also come with strap safeties, like you can buy strap safeties for it, flip down safeties, you name it, because it's a standard style rack. Honestly, this is one of the best values that's out there. I can't say that for every other rack that's behind me. The X3 is Titan's pinnacle. It's the best value for most people, in my opinion, that Titan makes. In a similar vein that I think the Rogue Monster Light and the Rep PR 4000 are kind of their calling cards as well. They all compete and it kind of depends on which specs and things you want most. Now we're gonna do a breakdown in the future on these racks compared to all the other racks, just bring them in, do side-by-side -side versus. So be on the lookout for that. And if you'd like to see it, make sure you subscribe. But wait, there's more. We have one more we gotta review and that's the big boy. Let's bring her out. All right, so this is Titan's top rack. They're most expensive, the most over the top. This is what we're seeing like a lot of universities use, not this specific Titan rack, but this style of rack from many different companies. The rack is using the same 11 gauge steel three by three uprights that we see on the X3. The difference is instead of using five eighths inch holes and five eighths inch hardware, they're using one inch holes and one inch hardware. Now, <laughs> does anybody need a rack like that is this big, this over the top? Of course not, you don't really need any of these levels of racks. You get this because you want like the last thing you'll have to buy. You get it because you like the look. You get it because you like knowing that you're gonna be safe even if you lift a truck. And you also like knowing that you can buy any accessory that's gonna come on the market because this is the top of the line racks for every company that's out there. They're all making one inch hole, three by three, uprights with 11 gauge steel or seven gauge steel. So you can use a lot of different companies. Now this is using a little bit different 
style of hole than some companies out there. On the sides here, you'll see it's a keyhole design. This is actually a design that Rogue brought to market. I won't say first because Ray Carruther was the first company I saw making them, but Rogue makes some that does. And so you can use those accessories on this rack, no problem. It's using offset holes. You can put a bolt through here and a bolt through here without running into each other. It's laser cut all the way up and down the uprights, only on the fronts and backs though. And they only go in every other number increment. So every two rather than every hole, not a big deal. In my garage, the Coob Squad I have is using a Titan Titan series upright. It's a whole bunch of Frankenstein parts, but the upright I use is these. But this rack comes now with color. So as you can see, it's a white rack. Like this is the first time Titan's offered this in this series. They have other colors as well, like an orange, red, just trying to like fill out a ton of different colors. All the cross members are still black though. I think it looks cool. It provides like a stormtrooper look. All right, when we're talking about the price, we have to consider all the options that are here. There are many companies that are making these. And what I found is the imported options are very similar price. This is the 100 inch option. Rep doesn't offer a 100 inch option. Okay, so they just don't make one that is 100 inches. They probably don't feel like most people need it. The reality is most home gyms, garage gyms, aren't gonna have ceilings that are that tall so they can put it in. So most are gonna buy the 90, 93 inch, somewhere around there option. The price for this one in a very similar style rack as a rep one is pretty much around the same price. I think for Titan, it's like $1,079. For rep, it's like $1,090. So they're like right there, neck and neck. You're really just trying to buy this based upon the company that's selling it. This one's gonna come with a one year warranty like all the Titan racks do. There's other companies like Rogue that are offering lifetime warranties, but this one in reps, like there's a lot of similarity. The difference is the accessories they're offering. So this one's a 48 inch. Rogue's is gonna be a 49 inch and reps is gonna be a 47 inch. You have to decide like which one do you want because then the accessory used that are going across are gonna be ones that you wanna go with. In my opinion, this isn't my favorite option of the one inch hole three by three racks. I personally like the PR 5000 from a value basis. It's pretty similar price point. They're offering more accessories, but that's not to say this isn't a good rack. They're so similar. I mean, like the powder coat on this is very nice. Like it, this isn't the, the bad powder coat we see from Titan. This is like a really nice powder coat. The laser cut, it's not punched out, it's laser cut. They come with a logo with nice cross members. In fact, the top cross members are barring after what Rogue's doing. Instead of putting the bottom cross member on the top and just putting them on both, they use a separate top cross member that then allows the top of the cross member to be flush with the top of the upright, which then allows you extra height and allows you to use some unique things with accessories. It's a good rack. It's pricey. Just understand, like, there's a lot of options that are out there. Okay, there is the lineup every rack Titan offers. Now here's what we want to do. One, we want to bring in comparisons for all of these styles of racks. So in the future, what we want to do is we want to have a Rogue Monster series. We want to have a Rep PR 5000 series. We want to have Griffins. We want to have Sornex. We want to have all the options out here so we can compare all of them for all the different categories. But we want to do a breakdown on all the different Titan racks, compare them all, and then talk about a little bit of other options that are out there. Have you used Titan in the past? Do you like their stuff? Let me know in the comments. We keep hearing more and more about them. This is Coop from Garage Gym Reviews. We'll see you next time.